So guys, a few weeks ago, and I'm sure that you remember this because it was a major news story, but we talked about J.D. Vance and the infamous couch. And while that has since been proven to be false, actually, that has been confirmed, Kamala and co. are still on a mission to prove that J.D. Vance is weird, which is obviously ironic coming from her, but we need to dive in. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the comment section channel if you have not already, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our uploads. I mean, guys, at this point, the weird thing has just completely completely gotten out of hand. Like, I know that it got some traction at the beginning, but they've been dragging this on for weeks now, and it is just, like, ridiculous. I mean, they are determined to paint this Marine turned Ivy League lawyer, turned tech entrepreneur, turned happily married husband and wonderful father, potential next vice president of the United States, into something bizarre and foreign. Because, of course, a small town Ohio boy that turned his life into a picturesque version of the American dream is just the story that they want to hide. And, of course, because they hate him, Trump is obviously included in this line of attack. In fact, they are very originally calling him old and weird. I don't know how we recover from this. Like, you couldn't even come up with something better. You're just tacking old onto the front of it, people. One article reported that in responding to Trump's Thursday appearance on Fox News, the Harris campaign, in a news release with the subject's line statement on a 78-year-old criminal's Fox News appearance, included, quote, Trump is old and quite weird in a bulleted list of takeaways. A day later, multiple news releases from the Harris campaign, again, this is all coming from her camp. This is not just people on Line, literally coming from Kamala herself, described her opponent similarly, declaring simply that J.D. Vance is weird, in part due to his stances on abortion, and Harris's campaign spokesperson saying that Vance had spent all week making headlines for his out-of-touch, weird ideas. Okay, his stance on abortion is that children deserve a chance at life. I mean, after having grown up in an incredibly traumatic and turbulent household, is it so weird for him to encourage people to choose life for a child and give them a chance to persevere and succeed regardless of the circumstances that they were born into? And to then promote family as being the centerpiece of our country? That's so weird. Like, you apparently don't actually have a response to his very rational arguments, so instead you're just name-calling and saying that everything is weird, which really doesn't mean anything. Now, I will say that upon reflection, yes, they probably do see all of that is weird because it is a counter-cultural idea. In a world that believes it is better for a baby to be killed than grow up in a low-income or fatherless home, it makes sense that the Harris campaign literally does not know how to handle that kind of compassion and a hopeful stance. So maybe they really do just think that it's weird. Now, in a very stark contrast, Kamala's boy, Tim Walls, who is being painted as this, like, American hero, the all-American dad, he's a football coach, he's a good guy, he's a normal, normal guy in comparison to, again, J.D. Vance being weird, Tim Walls supports abortion up until after birth. You don't believe me? Well, a Minnesota law that had been on the books since 1976 required, quote, responsible medical personnel to use, quote, all reasonable measures consistent with good medical practice to preserve the life and health of the born alive infant. The legislation that Wall signed in May of 2023 got rid of the word preserve and replaced the previous wording with a revised requirement to care for the infant who is born alive. Weird? No, no, that could not be weird. They genuinely do not think it's weird that this man, this father, does not want to save babies who survive botched abortions. Just let that sink in. Now, let's continue. Obviously, the Harris campaign and her supporters are coming at JD from all angles to try to dig up every piece of dirt they can find on him, considering the Trump's past has already been dissected on literally every single level. And gasp, they have found nothing. The only thing that they've discovered is that JD Vance is actually very normal, and that he once was a dorky high school kid, like most Americans, if we're being honest. One guy, who apparently thought that he had some amazing dunk, tweeted this high school picture of JD, saying, he's weird. JD Vance poses with three high school girls in a boys' restroom as they pretend to use the urinals. Oh no. I am shooketh. I'm gasping. This is literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, are you kidding me? Look at him. He's like 15 years old in high school. Like, literally, like, what? You're saying he's weird for being in high school and having fun and probably making a joke with his friends and having it photographed? Like, you are grasping at straws. And honestly, I'm surprised that the Dems are not applauding JD for being involved in such a progressive photo of men and women in the same bathroom, because I thought that it was actually problematic to call that weird or even dangerous. But what do I know? I thought that we were just ignoring biology and that that was just natural, certainly not as natural as balance of nature, which is one of the most natural supplements that I take. It's literally just fruits and vegetables. And imagine trying to eat 31 different fruits and vegetables every single day. It sounds miserable and time-consuming. It's not attainable for normal people, especially when you have a busy schedule like mine. But with balance of nature, fruits and veggies, 
there has never been a more convenient dietary supplement to ensure that you are getting that necessary wide variety of fruits and vegetables every single day. Balance of Nature takes fruits and vegetables, they freeze dry them, and they turn them into a powder and then put them into a capsule. Then all you have to do is take your fruit and veggie capsules every single day and your body knows what to do with them because they're natural. Now I have to admit, I am sadly the queen of skipping meals because my schedule is often so busy that I don't get to sit down for a whole meal, which means that I often don't get the nutrients that I need just from my diet, which is why I rely on supplements like Balance of Nature and they have been the best way to make sure that I'm getting those nutrients into my diet. So if you wanna get started with them today, go to balanceofnature.com and use promo code COOPER for 35% off your first order as one of their preferred customers. Plus they will give you a free bottle of fiber and spice. Again, guys, that is balanceofnature.com, promo code COOPER, literally only fruits and vegetables in their capsules, no weird crap, it's so natural. Kind of like what JD Vance is doing in this photo. Literally the most normal thing of the entire century. One guy commented and said, in the before times, people used to engage in tomfoolery without even thinking that it would be used against them on technology that was yet to exist. It was a better time, frankly. We're going to Applebee's after this. Another person said, you got picked on in high school, right? And then another person said, how is this not right up the Democrats' alley? They should be applauding Vance for his inclusion. Yeah, spot on, guys. I mean, the Harris campaign, if they were actually morally and philosophically consistent, should love this photo because they too want women in the same bathroom as men. They actually encourage it, if we're being honest. So much so that in Minnesota, Tim Walls made an education law in 2023 that mandates free tampons in grades four through 12 schools in both the women's and men's bathroom, which is something that the mainstream media has conveniently forgotten to include. They've given him all this amazing press. He's giving out free tampons. He loves women's rights, completely ignoring the fact that by putting tampons in boys' bathrooms, he's acknowledging that young people should be able to change their gender. Just saying. Weird. What's next, Tim? Litter boxes? <coughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. We're still talking about JD being very weird. And I regret to inform you all that he once attended a costume party. <laughs> Creepy, that is so creepy, oh my gosh. I just cannot believe that he might be our next vice president. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that he wore a costume once. That is literally what you people sound like. The original poster said, new. I've obtained a photo of JD Vance in drag while at Yale Law School. And here's the photo. But like what? I feel like calling this drag is offensive to drag queens everywhere because their makeup and wigs are much better than JD's. Sorry, JD, your eyeliner, not on fleek. But obviously his makeup and his wig would not be great because this is just a guy in college going to what looks like a house party. He is being a normal, dumb college kid doing what normal, dumb college kids do literally every single day. And newsflash, guys, in case we all forgot, it used to be funny and it used to be a joke when men pretended to be women. Maybe we should bring that back is all I'm saying. Chef Rule commented under this and said, so now suddenly drag is bad? Yeah, that's news to me, guys. Somebody else said, OMG, you found another Halloween photo. Groundbreaking stuff here. No one's ever dressed up for Halloween and gone to parties like this ever. Yeah, it's very creepy. Very, very weird. And then this woman commented and said, this is as silly as most dudes in wigs and dresses look. FYI. Yeah, no comment. Now, guys, the final nail in the coffin for JD was this photo. And I hope you prepare yourself. This tweet reads, Future VP, JD Vance, passed out in a corner. And then they took a screenshot from Facebook. Yes, that is definitely JD, passed out in the corner. From 2007. Are you expecting me to get upset and offended or concerned that JD Vance got drunk at a West Point party as a college kid and possibly blacked out and took a nap in the corner? No, I'm sorry to inform you, but that is not the controversy of the century. I'm not gonna say, oh, he's so weird for doing something that the majority of college kids do. Somebody commented and said, Democrats just can't get over how relatable JD Vance is. Yeah, like literally, I think all of this is just helping him. It is just making him seem more normal than any other candidate. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Another guy commented and said, a 22 year old Marine had some drinks and went to sleep in the corner. Wow, you got him now. At least he wasn't loaded and driving a car at 96 miles per hour. Marine one, National Guardsman zero. Yeah, maybe you guys should focus on Tim Walls and his DUI. And yes, that did actually happen. But of course, we're just gonna, you know, ignore that story and pretend like it didn't happen. Kind of like we're just conveniently forgetting that Walls skirted out of his deployment and left his men high and dry instead of leading them as he should have been in Iraq. Because no, no, he is for sure the normal guy. He is definitely the good pick among the bunch. Yeah, okay, try again next time, internet sleuths. All you're proving to us is that J.D. Vance might be the cleanest candidate of all time if this is all the dirt that you're able to get. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.